William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces. The Deputy Chief of Mission, Chancellor, Embassy of Japan to Kenya, His Excellency Kitagawa Yasuhisha. The Managing Director, the Chairman, Directors of Isuzu East Africa and the entire fraternity. The PS, State Department for Trade, Bona Alfred Kubundo. The stakeholders and shareholders, invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. With your permission, Your Excellency, sir, allow me to invite Madam Rita Kavaje, the MD, Isuzu East Africa, to make her welcome remarks. Welcome, Madam MD. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, the Principal Secretary, State Department for Trade, Mr. Alfred Kombudo, government officials present, His Excellency, Gitagawa Yasuhisa, Deputy Chief of Mission, Embassy of Japan, Isuzu East Africa, Board of Directors, led here today by Mr. Hiroshi Hisatomi, the Chairman of our Board, Mr. Erastas Njoroge, the representative from Kenya Development Corporation, Mr. Fred Murimi, the representative from Centum Investments, our esteemed customers and business partners, members of the Fourth Estate, ladies and gentlemen, Karibu Nisana, Namjisikie Mkonyumbani, Hapa Kwetu Isuzu East Africa. The Isuzu family is honored and extremely delighted that you could join us today as we launch the electrodeposition paint plant, the first one in sub-Sahara Africa, excluding South Africa. Your Excellency, we're excited that you are the first Kenyan president to visit this, this plant since we started production in 1977. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, as the name suggests, electrodeposition is a method of painting that uses electric current to ensure the paint reaches all surfaces of a vehicle, giving it an ultra finish uh, look. With the launch of the ED plant, our production capacity today moves from 11,000 vehicles to 18,000 units per annum. The Isuzu ED plant is also available to other auto manufacturers in the industry, including motorcycle and three-wheeler assemblers. Over the years, we have remained committed to the development of local content suppliers to international standards. As you have seen, Your Excellency, our vehicle contains over 40% local content, which includes paint, vehicle bodies, leaf springs, battery seats, among others. Your Excellency, I wish to express our great uh, gratitude to the government of Kenya for creating progressive policy environment. The vehicle leasing program, the Buy Kenya, Build Kenya initiative, the revised assembly regulations have been instrumental in nearly doubling the vehicle production in Kenya. Your Excellency, this has moved the industry from 7,000 units produced per year to 12,000 units produced per annum in just four years. During this period, Isuzu East Africa has remitted 21 billion shillings uh, in taxes to the government and created over 10,000 new jobs. <laughs> Last year, Your Excellency, our company was the top contributor to the exchequer, earning recognition from the Kenya Revenue Authority. <laughs> what we learned from this, Your Excellency, is that Progressive policy is critical to the growth of our economy. Your Excellency, in the last four years, Isuzu has invested three billion uh, shillings in facility upgrade consisting of dynamic test center, water leak test, 
uh, boots, a new uh, pickup assembly plant, and the ED plant that you have launched today. This investment, Your Excellency, are geared to prepare Isuzu to play a significant role in the Africa continent of free trade. With an installed production capacity of 41,000 units per year, Kenya has the potential to be a major auto and industrial hub in Africa. <clears throat> to achieve this industry scale and competitiveness, we appeal to you for your support in the following key areas. Number one, full implementation of the KS 1515 standard. This will be, this, Your Excellency, will be a game changer for the industry. We will double production of commercial vehicles from 12,000 units per year to 24,000 units in two years. This will also create an additional 10,000 jobs that we so much need. Number two, to expedite the enactment of the national automotive policy into law. This will pave way for the formation of the National Automotive Council that will be responsible for scaling up the local automotive industry to export competitiveness. <laughs> to enforce the 40% local content policy on major infrastructure projects, allowing local businesses to supply products and services. Number four, Your Excellency, to sustain our operations and invest and continue to grow scale, we need your support, personal support, to fast track the payment of pending bills. <laughs> your Excellency, as I conclude, I thank you for visiting our facility and officially launching the Isuzu Electrodeposition Paint Plant. To our distinguished guests, we appreciate you for joining us today. I would also like to thank Isuzu Africa staff who have prepared for this day with great pride. <clears throat> Last but not least, Your Excellency, I would like to thank your government team that worked with us to make this day a success. I witnessed a very good speed. I was trying to catch up with them, and I thought as a leader, they're just copying what you're asking them to do to be fast in implementing projects. Thank you all, and God bless Kenya.